So what's anchoring and what can it do for you? So anchoring is essentially being able to link a powerful emotional state with a certain touch, smell, sound, or sight. So using one of your senses to link it to something that's a very powerful emotion that you want to have, that's more powerful than where you are right now. So literally it's something that can bring you to that next level where you want to be experiencing that specific emotion. So in certain uses would be getting out of a negative state, stepping into a resourceful state, going from stress to happy, right? Preparing for an important meeting, maybe feeling how you want to feel. It's basically creating your own programming and do this, be able to feel that. Now, <clears throat> there's a lot of different uses for anchoring and it gets very technical and there's many ways to refine it, but I just want to give you a short video that shares with you a few tidbits about what you can do and one way that I can demonstrate anchoring that I use on my own daily basis. So message me if you want to have more information about this topic. But essentially, I'll give you an example. Have you ever heard of someone that said, you know, every time he does that, it makes me feel this. Every time she looks at me that way, it reminds me of so-and-so. So that look or that thing the person is saying is anchored to another experience that you've had that's in your subconscious. And only when you get that stimulus, when that person says that thing or they look at you that way, it triggers something inside of you that you don't usually think about to come to the surface. That is an anchor. So a picture of you know, red and blue spinning lights on the side of the highway, uh, the American flag, right? those are anchors. The smell of your favorite childhood dish, it, what that brings back, what that brings to your feelings, what it brings to your, to your body that you feel inside your body, those are anchors.